and here was our 42nd country together, Liechtenstein. On the way back from our winter vacation in Austria, Liechtenstein was just a 30 minute detour. As we have never visited it and were wondering what was Liechtenstein, we made the detour and entered a new country together. Liechtenstein is actually super small. It's a 25 km long principality located near the Alps between Austria and Switzerland and is a German speaking country. So let's see what Liechtenstein has to offer. After a final breakfast in Austria, we say goodbye to my family and hit the road toward Liechtenstein. The drive was really pleasant as we were driving with the Alps in the background. As there weren't really any border, we were quickly there and it was easy to get in. Our first stop was Vaduz, the capital of Liechtenstein, where we parked in the city center parking, which was free as it was Saturday. That's it. 42nd country, Liechtenstein. That's a big lady. Vaduz was super small and mostly consisted of one main street. There were a few museums to visit, like the Post Museum, which displayed stamped on the street. A replica of the Vaduz castle, that cannot be visited, as it is the official residence of the Prince of Liechtenstein, and the tourist center. What was nice though, was to always be surrounded by the Alps. At the end of the main street, we visited the Vaduz Cathedral, or Cathedral of Saint Florent, with its neo-gothic style. So Tina, can you please uh, tell us uh, your first uh, thought about Liechtenstein? <laughs> there is this <laughs> nothing. There is this lovely street, an amazing castle that you can't visit. And mountains around. Beautiful mountains around. A few weird sculptures about woman's body. From there, we walked back to the other side of the main street, where we discovered the town hall, as well as a huge group of Chinese travelers. There seemed to be some kind of event between China and Liechtenstein at that time. Yeah. Well, we could then uh, get sandwiches. We then hopped back on our car and drove to Gutenberg Castle, located in the south of the country. But before arriving there, we made a quick stop in a supermarket to get lunch. We must admit that the supermarket wasn't dreamy and there weren't many options for us. Gutenberg Castle is actually one of the five castles of the Principality and one of the two that have survived intact until the present day. There was a beautiful little hike to reach the castle, as the castle hill was filled with vineyards. Once again, the castle cannot be visited, but we could enter inside its inner court, where we made a small tea break. As it was super windy up there, we quickly returned to our car and drove back home.
and that was the end of our 42nd country together, where we stayed less than 2 hours. But we believe that Liechtenstein could be much better and much more beautiful for hiking in summer.